<laughs> What's going on guys? Dean Randall's here. Today we're going to be looking at the Dean ML Showdown. Now, the showdown is just a model. It's just all black. It's called the showdown. Um, another Dean product. You know, solid body. I'm sorry. Neck through. Sorry. Um... I'm going to talk about this one. I'm going to give you guys my review of this one. Uh, I've, I've had this one probably two or three years. Uh, a little longer than I had my Razorback. And, uh, you know, it's a great guitar. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, pros and cons. What's the problem? What's the problem with this guitar? The problem with this guitar is it uh, looks badass when you play it. Is that a problem? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> uh, problems. Problems with this guitar. Let me think of the problems that I've had with this guitar. I can't think of any problems I had with this guitar. <laughs> the jack loosens up, but every guitar I've ever owned, the jack's loosened up. So it's like, is that, I think that's just characteristics uh, of electric guitars, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, the jack loosens up. Um, bar falls off every now and again, but like I said, uh, every other Floyd Rose I've had, uh, the bar has fallen off. But So you got to kind of every now and again just you know make sure it's tight pretty much um other than that it's it's a great feeling guitar it really is it's like i said smooth it's a smooth it's a it's a neck through so it's got the nice smooth finish on the back and it's just really good for you know running along and doing your things you know what i mean um yeah i mean it doesn't the fretboard feels amazing it's got kind of a flatter fretboard than a lot of guitars that i've played so i kind of like that though you know it, it's a little more comfortable for me you know I just, I don't know. I think I think it's more comfortable. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's a great playing guitar. Um, it looks great. Um, this one's actually taking a little bit more of a beating than the uh, the Razorback for obvious reasons. Um, I mean, it's not that I don't care about this guitar, but this is my, <clears throat> I guess you could say, beater. This is my beater guitar. You know, it's my five hundred dollar beater. Um, and it's a great guitar. It sounds great. Like I said, you know, I haven't really had any issues with it. It sounds good. It sounds real nice. I like how it sounds. You know, it's a cool guitar. It's a time bag guitar. You know, the guy played on the thing for 20 years. You know, it's like... Uh, so obviously he knew something. Um, yeah, it's a great, great guitar. Great guitar. Problem I see with a lot of people is um, they start off playing, they get a cheap guitar. I did it. I mean, I think it's actually, yeah, that one right there. I played that one years, years ago. It sounds like crap. It's got dead frets on it, you know, the thing. The, the, it's just, uh, I don't know, tinny. It just, it sounds horrible, but that's a, that's a hundred dollar, dollar guitar, you know what I mean? So yeah, you start off with your first guitar, your hundred dollar guitar. You beat it up, you learn on it, you do all your good stuff on it, and then you want to upgrade. And typically, when people come from that and they really get into guitar, they're willing to spend like four or five hundred bucks on the on, on their next guitar. I know I was, I, I was dead ready for it. And this actually wasn't my next one after uh, after my. Uh, I'm sorry. This wasn't the next one after my. Uh, beginner guitar over there i actually got an ibanez rg what was it it had a, a floater on it rg 420 i think it was and that was a great guitar you know it was a really comfortable guitar i wasn't crazy i, I liked the floyd rose i liked ripping on it i learned how to do those uh you know those dime bag squeals you know you know what i mean i learned how to do those on that guitar and uh you know, I beat on that guitar for a while, you know, it was a bolt-on neck, you know. I beat on that one for a while, you know, it was typical guitar problems, you know, knobs start to loosen up, you just pop them off, you gotta you tighten them up. That's the same thing with these, you know, that's, that's any guitar I've seen like this. I mean, after time, you know, using them and, you know, ripping, ripping the knobs up and down, you know, you... They're gonna loosen up a little bit, you always gotta snug them up. It's just maintenance for your guitar, that's all it is. But uh, like I was saying... So a lot of people want to spend some money after they learn how to play guitar. And like I said, they're willing to spend four or five hundred bucks. I was. My Ibanez was, uh, I think it was 450 when I bought it. And I played that thing for a long time. 
I was trying to play, I'm a big Pantera fan, as you guys can probably see. Huge Pantera fan. I love playing Pantera. So I wanted a Pantera guitar. So I kind of hung that one up. I saved up my money and I bought the Showdown. It was 500 bucks, I think, when I bought it. Four or 500 bucks, something like that, when I bought it. And uh, I haven't looked back. <laughs> I actually sold the Ibanez. And uh, this is the guitar I primarily play on a lot. You know what I mean? It's... Uh, I'm not so worried about banging it up or doing, you know, dropping it, even drop it. I dropped this guitar. <laughs> it popped right off, dropped it, you know what I mean? I lean it up against things, you know. I let people try it out, you know, and it's, I haven't had a lick of problems with this thing. Nothing serious anyway, guys. I mean, like I said, there's basic maintenance on your guitars that you have to do. You know, you got to clean them every now and again, you know. You restring them and stuff like that. This one actually needs a restring. The strings are actually kind of... They kind of buzz in a little bit. Ooh, whoo! A little out of tune there, but that's all right. I'll, I'll take care of that later. Um. So yeah, I mean, it's a great guitar, guys. Um, comfortable? Yeah, it, it's a comfy guitar. You know, a lot of people they think because it's like shaped like this, it's not a very comfortable guitar. I think it's actually more comfortable than a lot of guitars I've played. I mean, it sits here. It's it's good. It's it's pretty well balanced i mean it's just sitting there you know and if you don't like playing like that you can always stick it in the leg here you know if you're in the market for one of these guitars or you want to play pantera's music or even like i, you know, I was playing <laughs> sounds great you know pretty much anything you play on it's going to sound great So I do enjoy playing this guitar. It's definitely one of my favorites. This is my go-to guitar. I uh, when I practice, when I do practice, um, this is the guitar I'll practice on. I'll just sit there, you know, I'll rip my scales. <laughs> Um, but like I said, it's a super comfy guitar. Um, I mean, you guys will have no problem playing on this thing. I'm, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, some people probably get a little intimidated when they're spending four or five hundred bucks on a guitar, and they're worried they're not gonna like the guitar. You know, especially now these days, everything is sent through the mail. So a lot of people are worried. Oh man, you know, if it gets you, I know I was. I ordered a few. I ordered this one through the mail, and I was like, "Am I gonna like it?" You know, I haven't got to play it. The closest freaking guitar center to me is an hour and twenty minutes away. So it's like, you know, I was a little nervous. But I mean, if you guys order it, you do decide to buy it, um, you won't be disappointed. You really won't. It's a great guitar. It's a comfortable guitar, and it sounds good. It really does. It's a good sounding guitar. It's that purple rain. That purple rain chord. Yeah, so. I mean, you can pretty much play anything on it. You really can. So anyway, guys, uh, if you do decide to buy this thing, you know, and you decide to get it shipped by mail, you won't be disappointed. When it gets to your house, you're going to love it. Most of the time when they ship them, they're, not, they're out of tune, so you got to tune them. And a lot of people get, uh, you know, worried about the Floyd Rose, you know. It's like, oh, it's locked, you know, uh, it's taboo, you know what I mean? Which it's not. It's actually really simple. There's plenty of videos on YouTube to watch to walk you through how to do it, and I love it. You know, I mean, tuning is always, it's always fine tuning for the longest time. <clears throat> you set your initial tune, 
you know, you leave your locks loose, you set your initial tune, you, know, you get your bridge set up where you want it, and you just tune up your guitar, and once your guitar is tuned up, you lock them down, do a little fine tuning, and you're good to go. You know, it stays in tune. It's cool. It's great. But yeah, so this is the Dean ML Showdown. Uh, it's by Dean Guitar, the Dime Series. Uh, it's a great guitar. It's very, very comfortable. Sounds great. Plays great. Pretty much does everything I want it to do and some. Um, pinch wheels aren't really easy to get them on this thing, man. It, it really is. You know, I kind of keep the the uh, higher strings a little lo closer to your fretboard, you know, and the lower strings a little further away just for a little, you know, you get a little. So you can pound on them a little more. I mean, if your actions are too low up top, you're going to get that kind of weird sound. I don't know. I don't know. But I love it. It's a great guitar. The DNML, I recommend it. You guys would love it. Uh, don't hesitate. You know, I'll put a link in the description below. You guys go check them out. You know, they actually have a lot of MLs nowadays. They have have a lot of. Um, I see the bolt on necks. Um, I've actually played one of those. A friend of mine had the uh, bolt on. What was it? Uh, dime bolt? I think it was. I think it was the dime bolt. And that thing was actually pretty comfortable too. I actually enjoyed playing on that. So, I mean, if you don't want to just hop right to the Floyd Rose, you can always go with those. You know what I mean? Those, I think they're about 100, 200 bucks cheaper. They look just as great. You know what I mean? I think I saw the Pantera Far Beyond Driven one for 300 bucks. And I mean, I'm actually thinking about getting that one. It's a little more stripped down. But, I mean, if you're just going to be jamming on the thing and you're not going to be playing freaking. Uh, you know, kumbaya. You know, you'll be all right. Even if you are, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll sound good. <laughs> you know, Dean's they stand behind their products, and uh, I know why. Like I said, Dimebag Daryl played these things for 20 years. You know what I mean? And there had to have been a reason for it. I mean, he hopped around with Washburn and stuff like that, but for the most part, it was this body style and this setup. Pretty much the only thing that's different is that name up there. But uh, great guitar great guitar i do recommend it um like i said i'll put a link in the description below um go check them out guys um thanks for watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe share the video all that good stuff um that's it <laughs> i'll catch you guys later